It's been a particularly strong year for comic book movies, including two blockbusters that were instant classics of the genre. My pick for the best comic book movie of the year, it's a tie between Marvel's The Avengers and The Dark Knight Rises. The latter is a more substantial piece of work with more impressive and deeper performances, but for what it was trying to be, The Avengers was just as successful. In the wrong hands, an all-star superhero movie could have gone horribly wrong, but thanks to a terrific cast and a breezy, action-filled storyline, the Avengers clicked on all cylinders. If we can't protect the Earth, you can be damn well sure we'll avenge it. The most polarizing movie so far this year is Prometheus. What the hell is that? I'm still sifting through the hundreds and hundreds of comments I received after I gave Ridley Scott's alien epic a rave review. I loved the intricate plot and the stark and beautiful visuals, the nods to sci-fi classics, and the great work by Michael Fassbender and company. But a lot of you guys loathed every inch of this film. I'm not saying the haters were wrong and I was right, but the haters were mistaken and I wasn't. My pick for best action movie is The Grey. Joe Carnahan's Man Against Wolves adventure was a bloody prose poem with far more depth and character development than you might expect from such a story. It's too bad they never even consider films like this for awards because Liam Neeson gives a trophy-worthy performance. How are we gonna deal with this? We take them on, one at a time. In the category of best adaptation that could have gone horribly wrong, how about The Hunger Games? I volunteer as tribute. The books were wildly imaginative, but turning those images into literal visuals, now that's a real challenge. To the general delight of the legions of hardcore fans, that challenge was met every step of the way. All right, let's wrap it up with my pick for the best comedy, and that's the five-year engagement. Jason Segel and Emily Blunt are two of my favorite actors, and they click beautifully in this smart, original comedy about a couple that makes the big commitment but can never quite seem to find their way to the altar. It's sort of like when you're on a treadmill, and you tell yourself, I'm going to run five miles today, and now it's forever miles. When was the last time you were on a treadmill? I'd love to check in with these characters in a few years for a sequel. We could call it the five-year anniversary. All right, that's it for the winners. Next up, the five best films you probably haven't seen.